Actuators are the devices that take commands from the controller and perform an action. Some actions are simple, such as on, off, or forward, reverse. Pilot lights, also known as indicator lights, are actuators that tell workers important information about a machine or process that may be difficult to see otherwise. For instance, when a box is at the labeling station and is detected by a photo eye, the controller will turn on a pilot light, which indicates that a box is present. Once the box has been labeled, another light may be switched on, thus indicating that the box has been labeled and is now ready for further processing. Motors are actuators that power many different types of moving machinery, such as conveyor belts, cranes and hoists, robots, machinery that winds paper, wire, string, and material onto spools, and an array of other types of machinery that have moving parts. Some motors, such as AC and DC motors, are controlled to turn off or turn on and run at a particular speed. In other cases, the speed and torque can be controlled on those same motors using special controls. Other types of motors are called servo and stepper motors. These motors are designed to move very precisely and are commonly used in robots and other applications where machinery needs to move to an exact position. Pumps are used to create hydraulic flow to move a gas or liquid. In reality, pumps are simply motors connected to an impeller that spins in order to move the gas or liquid. Valves are actuators that open or close, or open partially, to regulate the flow of liquids or gases. Some valves are designed to only take commands to be completely open or closed, while others can take commands to open to a specific percentage to carefully regulate the flow of the gas or liquid. For example, a temperature sensor will detect that a vat filled with fluid is dropping below 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Therefore, the controller will signal the valve connected to a burner that it needs to open to allow gas to flow in order to bring the temperature back up to 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Solenoids are electrical devices that are designed to control non-electrical components, such as pneumatic or hydraulic valves or clamps that hold a part in place. When a controller sends an electrical signal to a solenoid, it creates a magnetic field that moves a piece of metal that is often attached to a valve, clamp, or door that needs to open or close. Relays are similar to solenoids. When electricity is applied, a magnetic field moves a piece of metal. In this case, the metal acts as a switch that opens and closes another electrical circuit, usually one with high voltage or current, such as a large motor or an electric heating element. Meters and gauges are actuators that tell operators about important temperatures, pressures, or other values that need to be monitored. Typically, meters and gauges function based on displaying a reading in an analog or digital format. For example, the amount of liquid that is traveling through a pipe within an automation system may show a dial that moves when the flow rate increases. 